What is going on, guys? It's Cal here from Buffalo Sports Center, and oh, baby, we are back. Welcome to the Week 1 Preview. Week 1, we got the Arizona Cardinals coming into Buffalo to take on the Bills. A Sunday 1 p.m. classic kickoff start. Right now, the Bills are favored by 6 points. Again, that line's going to move around. But let's get right into it. Let's start talking about the Bills offense. We've been saying that all offseason, this Bills offense has a ton of new pieces. It's going to be a tough start for the Bills team. They got to get guys touches very early. Again, this is the debut of Keon Coleman. Very, very interesting to see how Keon Coleman plays, at least in his first couple of games, if not the whole season. Again, Keon Coleman, he's already getting called a bust by some. He's getting called the best receiver the Bills have had, you know, aside from Stefan Diggs in the last 10 years by others. It's going to be a long season because fans are very split on Keon Coleman. Let's hope he can make an early impact in this Bills offense. Again, you look at the other receivers on the Bills, you have Khalil Shakir, who's been here. We know he could be a stud. Again, though, he's not proven to be that true number one. We'll see what happens. You got new guys like Curtis Samuel and Mac Hollins in there as well. And then the tight ends, Dawson Knox, Kincaid, they have to be good this season. Because, again, you have a lot of unsureness in that wide receiver room. You need your tight ends to be good. The run game, it's a little bit the same, a little bit different, right? You get rookie Ray Davis, and uh, Ty Johnson might be backing up again in this game. But James Cook's going to be your starter pretty much the whole season long. And we know James Cook, when given the opportunity, can be a very, very good running back in the league. The offensive line looks very similar this year. Again, Mitch Morse is gone, which is a little concerning because, you know, you lose your center. You might have some issues snapping the ball. I mean, we just saw a bunch of college football this weekend. Let me tell you, a lot of these centers who haven't had a lot of reps... We're snapping the ball way off, and uh, again, it's the NFL. We shouldn't see too much of that, but you never know. Um, and that's one of the easiest ways to lose a possession is just snapping the ball away and having your quarterback run 15 to 20 yards to go chase it down. And, you know, again, Josh Allen coming back as the quarterback for this team. He's going to have to ball out like he's done years prior for this team to make the playoffs. Again, that's Buffalo's only hope every single year is Josh Allen's on his A game and somehow leads this team to the playoffs and hopefully the Super Bowl. So we'll see what happens there. Now let's switch over to the Arizona Cardinals offense. They have a healthy Kyler Murray this year, which is huge. Again, I know a lot of people doubt Kyler Murray because of his size. He's a smaller guy. But trust me, we've seen what Kyler Murray can do. And Bills fans, we know for sure, I mean, you, you remember that game from a couple years ago, the Hal Murray where, you know, Kyler Murray chucked up a ball, you know, escaped, uh, you know, through that pocket. And uh, we ended up losing that game on a Hal Murray, uh, caught by DeAndre Hopkins, of course, who is no longer with the Cardinals. But yeah, Kyler Murray is back. And then the biggest storyline, I think, for the Cardinals this year, rookie wide receiver Marvin Harrison Jr. This guy could be an absolute stud. Um, again, we haven't really seen too much of him yet, so we have to we have to watch the regular season to figure out just how good he's going to be. But so far, I mean, I've heard nothing but good things from Marvin Harrison in camp and uh, through preseason. So hopefully for the Cardinals, Marvin Harrison Jr. becomes a stud. Again, high expectations for him. In the running back room, they've added running back Trey Benson. Um, they've already had James Conner, who, I, I mean, if you've been watching football a while, James Conner kind of forgotten about in Arizona, but still has put up good stats. And he had that one really good year in Pittsburgh where, you know, he was kind of almost going to become their starter and did for a little bit and all that. So, again, a solid running back room for the Cardinals. They went out and got old, familiar friend Zay Jones. Um, you know, obviously us Bills fans know Zay Jones pretty well. Uh, was here for, I believe, rookie Josh Allen and all that. Uh, but unfortunately, Zay Jones got suspended week one, so he will not be in this game. And, you know, the Arizona Cardinals also traded Rondell Moore to the Falcons. So that's, a, a, a you know, somebody they lost this year. But the last thing I want to talk about with the Cardinals offense is their tight end, Trey McBride. Third-year tight end. I mean, a lot of people are sleeping on Trey McBride. This guy is a top 10 tight end through and through. I would even say maybe top 8, maybe top 5 by the end of the year. So a lot of people sleeping on Trey McBride, but that's the guy the Bills defense has to lock up. Speaking about the Bills defense, let's get right into it. Von Miller is back and healthy, and this is the X factor this year for this Buffalo Bills defense. Von Miller has to be on his A game because we saw last year when he wasn't, 
The Bills D-line was very hit or miss. Again, guys like Epinesa, Rousseau, Ed Oliver, Daquan Jones, they all had their own specific games where they played good, but they never really combined to have good games. Again, the Bills lose Leonard Floyd on that D-line, so Von Miller's going to have to be good, and he is healthy. You know, we've seen him, unfortunately, not in any preseason games, but we have seen him in training camp look really good, so hopefully that continues into the regular season. The linebacker's position is going to look the same as last year, and unfortunately, that does not mean Matt Milano. That means the injured uh, tandem, which will be Terrell Bernard and Dorian Williams. Um, Again, that sucks to have Milano out for a majority of the year, but again, he wasn't placed on IR. Um, He was just placed on, you know, temporary, so hopefully uh, Milano can come back around, you know, December, and, you know, if the Bills are in a playoff spot, can definitely help them in the playoffs. Now let's talk about the safeties. You lose Jordan Poyer to the Dolphins, which, you know, that already stings. Micah Hyde is still, you know, questionable. Is he retired? Is he not retired? Is he going to come back midway through the year? We don't know. As of right now, our starters are Mike Edwards and Cole Bishop, both of them with zero work in the preseason because they were both injured early in camp. And now, I mean, this is a tough situation for the Bills, right? You got two safeties who are new to the system have had absolutely no work in the preseason, are trending in the right direction to play week one. But again, if they're not playing, you're going to have to look at the guys like Cam Lewis, maybe DeMar Hamlin to get some reps in there. I don't know. It's going to be dicey. I I wonder how long it takes the Bills to give Micah Hyde a call if the safety position doesn't work out well. But best of luck to Edwards and Bishop. Hopefully they can nail it back there. Cornerbacks are pretty much the same. Again, Terry Johnson's going to have to play really good like he has in years prior. He's that perfect slot cornerback, the most underrated player on the Bills defense for sure. And Christian Benford and Kair Elam, we could even add him to this group. They have to play good as well. Now let's switch over to the Arizona defense. Um, And now this is a unit who was ranked the worst in the NFL uh, in the preseason predictions by Bleacher Report. Again, I don't think the Arizona Cardinals defense is the worst purely because of their safety room, right? The opposite of the Bills, which is kind of crazy, right? Because, I mean, you, you look at the Bills and it's like, that's a really solid defense with no safeties. It's pretty much the opposite in Arizona because their safeties with Jalen Thompson and Buda Baker are some of the best in the league. So I I expect, you know, a lot of teams to kind of be avoiding the Cardinals safeties when they're scheming their offense because the rest of the defense is not that great. They brought in Bilal Nichols and Justin Jones, um, and they've also brought in Darius Robinson as a rookie, um, that interior D lineman. uh, So they're trying to bulk up the D line. Again, they spent a lot of money on it, but it's not really filled with big names. So they're really hoping on some of these mid-tier guys to really save that defensive line. The cornerback situation is just not really good with the Cardinals as well. So that defense is definitely a weak spot. Again, we could be wrong. Again, it's all speculation too. It's week one, right? We haven't seen these teams play, but again, keys to the game here. I mean, if you're the Bills, you have to score a bunch of points because that defense is their weak spot. So that was it for me. Make sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe, and now I'm going to do a thing I've never done before. Let's throw it over to the BSC panel and see what we are predicting for this week one matchup. For bigger games. Moss in there. Oh, he's going to throw it. McKenzie. It's in. Trickery for the touchdown. 